All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. The one honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson <coughs> going into how Yahweh is going to destroy that Destiny's Child, in the independent ladies, or that Beyonce, that diva, independent female spirit man, right? Because, excuse me, you've got a lot of women right now, right? That one of the main things that they've got a grievance with in the Bible is that a man can have multiple um, multiple wives, man. And a lot of these women in this world have left certain men that they're with because he so-called cheated on them according to what they would say, man. But he was just fulfilling a thing that Yahweh's put within him to make him want to have multiple wives. And a lot of these women that have did that, that say these things, they're hypocrites because they've had multiple men in their lives. But according to the Bible... A woman not supposed to do that. So they'll they'll try and tell a man that he's not supposed to have multiple wives because the Bible used to say it, but now he's not supposed to do it. That's what they'll say, right? But the Bible's always said that a woman is supposed to have one husband her whole life. So what's the excuse for why they've had multiple men in their lives? What's their excuse? Even though these, these women that are Christians and claiming that they're about the Bible, what's their excuse on why they've had so many husbands in their life? You see, they they spend all their time worrying about what the man's doing, and if they're equal to the man, and even in God's eyes, which they're not, they're not equal. Yahweh gave the hierarchy. This goes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the man, the woman, and then the child. That's the hierarchy. But women want to try and be in man's position, and not even fulfill their own. They want to have two positions, man. But Yahweh is going to get rid of that spirit, and I'm going to read it. This is Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 16. Moreover, Yahweh saith, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with strength forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Now, don't the Israelite woman do, don't the so-called black woman do this more than any other woman? She snaps her neck, she pouts her lips, she shakes her head back and forth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All that BS. And the Benjamite woman, he said, competition, man. I don't know which one's more proud. Because I ain't really met too many. Um, I don't think I've ever met a so-called African American woman in my life. To be fair, I've probably seen Ghanaian and Nigerian women or whatever, but I ain't ever seen like a a, a straight up African American woman ever in my life. I don't well maybe one or two, right? But I've seen several Benjamite women in my life, and they've been proud, man, and they've also been bold too, which is what the scriptures say. And making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will, will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And Yahweh will discover their secret parts. In that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet. And their calls and their round ties like the moon. So what he's pretty much saying is that Yahweh is going to start getting rid of certain things that women are brave by. That they use to beautify themselves, man. If you ever see a woman that's not got makeup on. Right? In particular, an Israelite woman. If you see an Israelite woman with her natural hair, in a lot of cases, that's not wearing makeup. She'll be more meek and humble in that case. But then once she gets that weave on, once she puts that makeup on, now she starts thinking she's Kelly Rowland or something like that around here. Right? She starts thinking that she's Rihanna. She starts thinking that she's a star. And even Kelly Rowland and all of them, they don't have the natural hair like what they're supposed to have neither. Right? They don't have the length of hair that they're supposed to have if they wasn't proud. They don't have it. But they've got longer hair from what I see than most. Verse 19. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles <coughs> and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses, which he's talking about mirrors when you look it up. And the fine linen, all the different types of clothes, and the hoods, and the veils, all the things that they can use to beautify themselves, man. Right, Yahweh is going to get rid of all of that. Verse 24, and it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be stink. And Yahweh did this already. But the women have been given things by Esau to try and cover this stuff up. There's a whole weave industry that's been given to these Israelite women to make them be able to cover up the curse that Yahweh put on them. 
So now you is gonna judge the earth again and gonna make the Israelite one even worse than when he when he previously did it, man. Because now they're gonna lose the weave. And they're gonna even have a, sn a snare on the head that the, the little hair that they've got already. He's gonna get them, man. Everyone knows, man. Everyone knows this. That an Israelite woman, a so-called black woman, is the most likely one to not have their natural hair. But why is that? I'm reading it. It's because they're proud. <coughs> it's because they're proud. They walk with strength forth necks and one ton eyes. Right, they look men up and down when they're walking down the street. They think that they're stars, you know. They make sure they add a little bit of hot sauce on their walk when they're walking down the street. So they ask and jiggle more. All that pride, man. They're wearing yoga pants all the time, but ain't never did no yoga ever in their life. <laughs> you understand? They ain't never did no yoga once in their life. They can't do, they can't even, they haven't got no kind of flexibility <clears throat> that you would get from doing a yoga class, but they're always outside in yoga pants, right? They're always outside showing their cleavage. They're always online twerking it off, showing their battery crease, all in every single platform of social media that's existed. They've shown themselves to act a fool, man. This is why they're bold-headed. This is why. Because they're the one that's supposed to be the most meek. They're the Israelite woman. But they don't want to be that. And if they if they are starting to accept that they are, but then some Edomite woman or some other heathen gets offended, now they're going to try and side with that. Verse 20, verse 25, excuse me, verse 24, And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well set hair, boldness. Now, a woman can't be proud when she's bold. Women are not really proud when they're bold unless they did it deliberately. <coughs> so you got like Amber Rose and then kind of, kind of women that cut their hair off and make it bold. But for the most part, women want to have hair, right? But they kind of, they, women like the Amber Rose type of demon, <coughs> which she's been humbled to now anyway. They can grow hair so they don't feel like they need to be ashamed. But Yahweh is going to cause for all these women to become ugly, man. And that's going to take away all their pride. Like how they are right now where they can like laugh and look at men. They can look men up and down and laugh about how a man might not have this or not have that. <coughs> when the way how they got access to all of these things was by sleeping with Jesus anyway. But they, they're they not ever going to tell you that though. They're going to try and make it like they achieved something. Which we know that they didn't. But they're going to try and make it like they achieved something to get the, to get where they got in life. You know? But all they was doing was opening or closing, opening their legs and then closing them for a time so that they can open it for a nook skeezer that's got something that they want. Verse 25. Thy men shall fall by the sword and thy might in the war. So all of the, all of the men that these women was able to get access to because of the beauty that they had, them men are going to die, the scriptures say. Verse 26. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So that's the pride of these independent women being drained out, man. All the pride that these women have by way they can say they are the table and all of this stuff, right? They are the table. I am the table, right? They can try and ask men, look men up and down. Like women can't even handle, <coughs> women couldn't even handle. Excuse me, women couldn't even handle the little bit of rebuke that Kevin Samuel was, was giving them, man. They couldn't handle the bit of rebuke that Andrew Tate was giving them, right? They can't handle the, the rebuke that they're receiving from Fresh and Fit. So they damn sure wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't ever handling it when they heard the true rebuke of the scriptures, man. But where the way how they're acting isn't just going to make them not be able to get a high value man. It's going to make them get destroyed by the Lord. Forget the high value man talk. They're going to get destroyed, man. They're going to die for that. That's the thing that they should be worried about. They shouldn't be worried about them some high-value man stuff because the real high-value man is a man that's about Yahweh Barsham Yahushai anyway. It's not about a guy that's got money in his bank account because the money's getting ready to not mean nothing anyway. People are getting ready to have to accept accept a, a device in their hand or in their head in order to keep all the money that they've got access to. That's what they're getting ready to have to experience, man. Everywhere on the earth. Verse 26. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. And in that day, on in that day when these women are desolate sitting upon the ground, right, seven women shall take hold of one man, 
saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thine name to take away our reproach. So what they're going to be saying then is, I don't care about how much money you make, just protect me. Make me be one of your wives, protect me. So all that independent stuff is about to fly out the window. There's no scripture on the other side where a man meets where seven men are going to be coming to one woman, asking the woman to take away their approach. That's not going to happen. That don't happen, man. When all hell breaks loose, women are going to get right in line, right? And they're going to be getting on that Aunt Bessie spirit, man. They're going to be getting on that cooking spirit. They're going to be getting on that feminine spirit, man. They ain't going to start turning into warriors out here. Then that's not going to happen. Chaos makes men rise <coughs> and makes women fall. But these stupid cities and all these nightclub spirit and all of that, that makes that's a time where women shine, man. Because that's where they, they're questioning what men can do for them. But in the time that Yahweh is bringing forth, men are going to be the ones that are going to rise in that time. And men are going to be more precious than fine gold in that time, man. Isaiah to the 13 and verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of all fear. Not a woman. A man is going to be more precious than fine gold in that time. And a lot of women that had a problem with men having multiple wives are going to have to either accept it or be out there by themselves. Then. And some men ain't even going to want these women anyway because there was already like a hundred men plus that had dealt with them long before that anyway. They're going to have no choice but to accept it, man. They're going to have no choice. So I'm going to end the lesson there. I just wanted to do that video on how that independent woman spirit is going to be destroyed by the Lord. All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rakaq Wadash Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elected nation of Israel Shalom